Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at this SAT word problem. So what do we have? We have how many liters of a 25% saline solution must be added to 3% liters of a 10% saline solution to obtain a 15% saline solution. Now this is a fairly common question that's asked on the SAT, though usually they may not use the percent saline and instead they might give say like scores on a test and what does the total score need to be well the important thing to keep in perspective is what we're solving for right we want to find the amount of liters of a 25 percent saline solution well first what do we know well we know that in order to find the percent saline in a solution we can divide the amount of saline in the solution by the total number of liters in the solution. And that should give us our 15% or 0.15 saline solution. Make sense? Well, now let's see what we can plug in. Well, excuse me, this, Okay, so we know that we have some number of liters of a 25% saline solution. So 0.25 times that number of liters, which I'll just call X, will give us the total amount of saline in this number of liters of solution. And now, how much do I have in my 3 liter solution? Well, that's very simply 3 times the 0.1 of the percent saline, and that will give me my total amount of saline in my three liters. And now all that's left to do is divide by the total number of liters of the solution. And how many liters do we have? Well, we have three liters, we know, plus the amount of liters of the original, which I've already defined as X. And now all that's left to do is solve. So first, I'm going to clear my denominator by multiplying both sides by 3 plus x. And when I multiply this side by 3 plus x, I have to distribute. So I have 0 0.15 times 3, which gives me 0 0.45, plus 0.15 times x, or simply 0.15x. And I know that 3 times 0.1 very simply, is going to give me 0.3. Now, to solve, I want to get all of my x's on one side and all of my non-x's on the other. So I'll subtract 0.15 from 0.25 to get 0.1x. And what's that going to equal? Well, let's do the same thing on this side. 0.45 minus 0.3 is 0.15. And now, I want to get rid of my decimal in front of x. So I'll multiply both sides by 10 and I'll just get x equals 1.5. So this is my amount of liters of my 25% saline solution. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing and you guys were able to follow along and I'll see you in the next one.